How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocky Gal, and I'm going to have a little barracks show off because, um, you know, I think it's about time that I showed you guys what I have and um, just for a nice little celebration for 100 subscribers. So, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what I've got. So, first off, we have Summer Claude. I'm sure you guys, uh, some of you guys that have seen me summon for him are well aware of the fact that I have him. Um, yeah, you can see that given repo, um, attack speed solo 4. I wish I had attack speed catch 4 fodder at the time, but I didn't. And honestly, attack speed 4 solo, attack speed solo 4 is not bad on him. Um, and I replaced his, um, uh, rain skill, I think it was speed, speed defense rain, uh, with attack speed menace, just because this allows him to be self-efficient, self-sufficient with him uh, being able to get double attacks, so that is pretty good. Um, and you can see here I maxed out his dragon flowers. I didn't give him his ascended speed um, trait yet. Um, I think if I just get one more ascended floret or whatever it's called, I would do it. I have one right now, but I always like to have one just in case I want to um, do something else with it. So. Let's just wait for the next Ascended Hero to come out, and I'll give him the speed. Um, yeah, so this is the main build um, with him, and he works out pretty good. So, yeah, like him a lot. Um, next up, I guess we'll just go down from like the ones I have the highest merges on. So ne up next for my plus 10 is Echidna. Echidna, I always liked her design a lot. Um, I didn't really like her character super much in... Uh, Blazing or Binding Blade just because she didn't really have a character. At least that's just because I never read her support. Um, but no, I think she's pretty cool. Uh, I really like her design and Faye. It's pretty, uh, it's really well done. And I'm just really waiting for that refine, you know? Um, I think back then her uh, stat spread was pretty good. She was pretty fast for a uh, free to play unit. She's definitely showing her age now. I mean, those stats are not super good, but they're pretty balanced, and she has pretty decent speed, so it's alright. Um, I gave her the Unbound Axe Plus, I believe that was from Vi Violent? Yeah, I think it was from Violent, so that was pretty good. She used to have a um, huge fan, which helped with like ramping up her ether, because she was mainly used in Arena, just because you need to get those plus 10s in Arena, man. Um, she got Spurn 3 and Joint Drive Attack, I gave, I fed her a Chris, uh, a male Chris, it hurt a little bit because I want to merge up male Chris, but I, I had to do it for my girl Echidna, so that's just the way it had to be. And, uh, she works really well with Darting Breath, gives her some extra speed, uh, lets her ramp into, um, either Aether or Noontime faster, so yeah. Um, she's, she's having a little hard time in arena now like she struggles a bit so i don't really use her that much there anymore um but she's okay with like general uh content um use her a lot in tempest trial so that's cool um next is my boy takumi here is his resplendent alt from uh hell uh which i do like a lot i think i like a little more than his like uh like his default art um not that i don't like his default art, but I do like the hell design. It really does make sense with him. Um, if you played a Fire Emblem Fates. So yeah, I gave him the Ninja Yumi build. Uh, wait, can I not? Like, okay, yeah, I can see his uh, skill sets here. So, um, but I do have a number of builds. Some, some of them kind of suck, but I just did it because why not? Uh, I got the Fujin Yumi, uh, uh, refine, even though it's really not that good, especially in this day and age where they just give out this ability of unit can move to two space to an adjacent to any ally within two spaces. I'm like, they just give that out to anyone nowadays, man. I'm looking at you, Bridal Catria. So it's not good. It's not super good. Um, yeah, but he got Dead Eye. Uh, he's not the best user of it, but um, you know, just gave it to him. Cause why not? Um, attack speed bond 4 just because of the Fujin Yumi. Um, lol attack defense 3 to help us survive ability. Joint drive attack because, you know, that's always good in 
Blade Session 3 because he needs as much speed as he can get. Here's another Fujin Yumi build. This one's a little more supportive. This lets him jump around to any allies, um, buff them up, and also um, ruse opponents. So that was a that was an idea for uh, a build. I, I never really use it, but I might use it for like Chaos Season one day when they, when they have like version one heroes again. Um, here's a Helmbow build. Um, back when Helmbow was kind of an okay uh, weapon. I mean, still not bad. It's it basically is like a lull skill, a lull speed defense for the most part, so it's pretty good. Um, but Takumi is barely salvaged by that, so still not great. So I just use mainly the Ninja Yumi um, Plus build. This one works pretty well for the most part. Um, yeah, I had to get two Shinans when the Ninja banner came out just because I don't like foddering off the only copy of a certain character I get. I'd rather have no copy than get a copy and then kill them for skills. I had to get two of them <laughs> for him. So yeah, this is the build I mainly use. All right, then there's a Spendthrift Bow, Close Foil. Uh, this build's not really good anymore just because he's not really bulky. So I don't really use this one too much, um, but it's there. And this is the one I used for, um, I think it's called Roker Siege, where they got that big, uh, big shadow titan dude that you had to kill. I use this one a lot. Um, I give them guard just so they don't ramp up their uh, Rooker Siege special thingy because it's really annoying. Um, and I just kind of go in on uh, building up damage with uh, Death Blow 4, Drone Drive Attack, uh, Blade Session, and some Ether for some healing. I think, yeah, those are the only builds I have for him. And, um, you know. Yeah, he's not super good. <laughs> He's actually pretty awful. He's better as fodder nowadays than anything else, but you know, I'm a big Takumi fan, so I had to invest in him. And um, here is Dimitri, Legendary Dimitri. I think he was the first five star um, exclusive unit that I ever plus 10 um, I did during his A Hero Rises appearance um, like a year ago, a little more than a year ago, so that's pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, he's not doing as well as he used to. Before, he was kind of untouchable. Atrocity gave him a great player phase. Um, this encounter gave him a great enemy phase. Arid Bar gave him um, dodge based um, damage reduction and just plus attacks, or all attacks plus, or all stats plus five, which honestly is not super good anymore. I mean, it's nice to have, but it's not super good. Um, but with the addition of like Vital Astra and Smoke, Speed Smoke 4, um, it's fun to give him like more like uh, damage reduction, so that's really fun. I haven't gotten Vital uh, Astra on him yet. Still need to get another Merida, Ascending Merida, so still waiting on that a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is the this is the build I usually run. This build I have up here is like his arena build. Um, but this is the one I have for like general content and other things. Um, you know, soul to keep him alive, darting breath to ramp into soul a lot faster, uh, speed smoke 4 to give him more damage reduction, and more speed, and um, yeah, pretty good. Speed smoke 4, I don't know, sometimes I still think joint drive speed is better on him, but um, I'm going to keep speed smoke 4 for now, just for now. Um, Alright, so here's my young Marth. Um, I thought he was pretty cool when he first came out. I mean, I thought the whole, like, young hero banner idea was really cool, so that's why I tried to plus 10 him. Um, I think I did after his, like, rerun, like, a year later. So, yeah, here's a Distant Counter Special Spiral build. It's not super good anymore. Um, I think it's just because his stats are kind of outdated. Hero's Blood is essentially Fire Emblem, but Fire Emblem, the ability is not super good either at least in this day and age um so yeah he's not super good but you know he's not bad either and i love his art his art's great i mean you know i'm a big wada fan so i don't know what else y'all expected uh here's Selif. i think i just plus 10 him once he got his resplendent because that was like an extra merge so i was like all right this saves twenty thousand feathers i might as well just go for him and i think his divine turfing uh, refine is really good, so or maybe not really really good, but it's pretty alright. 
pretty alright. What does it do again? Um, oh yeah, something about guaranteed follow-up attack. And reduces damage from magic hits. So yeah, he's a pretty decent tank. I know uh, Phoenix Master 1 loves using Celif. Um, I don't really use Celif too much apart from like general PvE content. So don't have much experience with him like competitive-wise, but he's alright. Um, yeah, this was some like infantry pulse build. Never really used that. Um, yeah, I just give him steady, steady breath. Um, sometimes I have ether on him for more damage. Um, yeah. So if, here's Krom. I this was also a unit I built after he got his resplendent. Cause hey, another copy, right? I'm Krom. I mean, he's usually. This outfit seems to be from Moosebell, the oh. Kingdom of Flame. Shut up, Krom. Um, hmm. yeah, he's usually like ether Moose fodder. Moosebell's generals burn fiercely. I had better match their intensity. What's going on? I'm not even touching the screen. Dude, Krom is like coming alive. Uh, My elder sister um, uh, always said that- Okay, something weird's going on. I'm, I'm actually kind of scared. Uh, so we're just gonna look at him from here. Uh, oh my god, that was freaky. Uh, so yeah, I gave him distant counter. Um, I didn't have spurn. I didn't have any extra spurn, so I gave him close call three from a Merida, I believe. Um, drone drive speed's good on him too, just because um, you want to try to stack his speed as much as possible. The speed's not super good, but it's salvageable with sealed falchion, um, and with drone drive speed and some other supports. So he becomes a unit that's kind of hard to double. What was up with him? He was like talking out of nowhere. Any whatever. Anyways, um, and I really like his um, resplendent art. Looks really cool. I don't know if I would have given him the. Um, Muspel outfit, but it it looks good. And Panic, Panico R, Panicor is a great artist. Uh, here's Hinata. Um, you know I just like Hinata. I always liked him in Fates. I thought he was a cool character, so I plus ten him. And I don't really know what else to do with him. He's not a great unit. I gave him his Hinata's katana, but it's really not super good. <laughs> um, he's probably better off with something else. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him, but I have him at plus 10, so there's that. Here's Arden. Uh, he was my latest, like, Grail uh, merge project, and man, this guy is fantastic. After his refine, they just, he went from, like, kind of zero to hero. I mean, like, he basically gets cooldown ramping, or wait, no, he prevent, he gets guard. Um, he get he has guard. Uh, this is a brave weapon, both phases, which is crazy. And I think I fed him in... Uh, I think I gave him the do, and I'm not sure where I got this close defense from. I think from Deke. So now he's basically just basically untouchable. He still melts a little bit against a dragon. So that is a little bit scary during like um, Astra and Anima season when Saros comes, because she's also got weapon triangle advantage against him but for most opponents he is untouchable and he just this ignis is very scary like sometimes in the battle forecast it'll show him doing zero damage and then once he comes back with the ignis it's like 50 damage i'm like bro i mean i guess it makes sense based off the math and everything but it's so crazy and it's really cool he has a um his own unique fault uh like b uh, skill follow-up ring, which makes sense from um, Genealogy the Holy War. I really like that a lot. So and it's really good, too I know some people replace it with other stuff, but I like it so and I think it's pretty good So I'm just keep it that way Here's Ares. He was one of my first uh, plus 10 merges back when he was pretty good um, Now I can't say he's that good anymore. Um, I don't think his refine did enough for him So I didn't get it so this is still essentially just a special spiral, which don't get me wrong, it's still pretty good on a cav, but yeah, not super good. Blue Flame is, was pretty good back then, uh, but also kind of fell off. Distant Counter, Vantage, it was that, yeah, it was that build, Distant Counter, Vantage, Blue Flame build, but I don't think it's very good anymore, so I've, I haven't used him in quite some time. Oh hey, he's voiced by Robbie Damon. Interesting. Um... Here's Elliewood. Um, just resplend Elliewood, of course, because uh, no offense to the original artist, but I really did not like the original 
Ellie Wood's art. I remember when I first saw it at launch, I'm just like, who drew Ellie Wood? It just looks kind of bad. Yeah, so anyways, here's um, normal Ellie Wood with Blazing Durandal, just because normal Durandal is really not that good <laughs> at all. Um, and this is basically a Gale Force build. You know, I don't use him as much as I probably should, because I think he still could trip up some people. Um, he has decent survivability, and um, if he survives and has, gets into low health, he becomes a Wings of Mercy like anchor for other people to uh, fly in with, so he could be pretty scary. And Lunge, yeah, I have Lunge on him. I think Lunge is pretty good on him, um, just so that he swaps with someone and then goes into the back line to hit a squishy. So, yeah. Really like uh, Ellie Wood here, and um, his resplendent art is fantastic. Uh, here's Sita. She was like one of my first, like she was originally there for like Arena, just because I liked um, the Wing Spear. I think I had an extra R Dual Flying Three lying around, so I just gave it to her. Um, yeah, this was the build I had for maybe like two years ago. Um, then she started falling off a bit, just because despite having like effective damage with Wing Sword, it just was not enough. Um, she just did not do enough damage, and she died really quickly. I mean, you know, she got 49 attack. Really not that good. Um, and yeah. So I barely use this seed anymore, but, you know, I still keep her in my back pocket in case, uh, you know, I need her. Here's a Boro, another character from Fates I really like. Um, I think she got a better treatment than, um, Hinata both from me and from IS. Um, I think Oboro Spear is a little bit better uh, just because it has effectiveness against um, uh, armors. So that in, in and of itself is pretty good. So I gave her close defense 4 to kind of double down on that. No follow up 3 just because, you know, why not? I think it was because Deke had it and I was foddering Deke off to her. I, I kill a lot of Deeks, I'm sorry. Um, so I just thought, you know, why, might as well. No follow up 3 is basically good on anyone. So. Yep, there's her. Uh, Gwendolyn, another one of my original, like, arena, like, team scoring team. Um, but actually, I thought she was pretty good back in the day. Um, yeah, she got, uh, she got ramped into her uh, special cooldown faster, um, which really helped with, like, proccing Aether, which she hit pretty hard with. Distant Counter was pretty nice. Ventral Fighter back then was pretty good, too. I'm I'm sure if I replaced it with something else, it would be a lot better. And Hone Speed 4 was really just there for for scoring. Um, really not that good, the the uh, Hone skills. Um, hoping she could get a Resplendent just because I'm kind of sick of seeing this art. I know a lot of people hate it, and I can't say I love it either. It almost looks like a caricature. You know, like if you really emphasize or like exaggerate some of her stuff but uh it's just it's just weird don't love it here is ferdinand von <coughs> oh my god here is ferdinand von Eyer. uh this is my um totally maxed out ferdinand plus 10 15 dragon flowers ascended um asset here and he's got summoner support who did i give him support with dorothea all right i guess i gave it to dorothea i don't really remember doing that um and yeah, so this was a this was the build I focused on in uh, his uh, showcase video. So yeah, tri piercing tribute is a pretty good ability. Um, neutralizing foes follow-ups could be pretty good um, just to keep his survivability there. And giving attack and speed um, when he initiates is really good. Wait, if foe initiates? Oh wait, or if uh, foe's HP is plus greater than 75%. So um, that could still be like. Be when he initiates as well, so that's really good. Um, Surge Sparrow really is the thing that keeps him alive. Um, I, honestly, I think it's pretty broken, so that is really good. It prevents you from having to pick, uh, use like Luna, or not Luna, Noontime, or like Ether or something, so that he could keep um, his Luna to uh, deal a lot of damage. And in this S slot, I have Heavy Blade just so he can uh, ramp into Luna faster. So, yeah, love for a lot. Noe. Um, you know, I like sacrificed uh, Saros to her for Dragon Wall, but I really do not think it was that good on her. Um, you know, I feel like Noe is one of those characters that are pretty alright, like, gen generally wise. 
generally wise, that makes sense. Um, but I feel like she doesn't have a niche where she's like super good at. She's just kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. Like her stats are pretty balanced. So she could basically do anything. And given the um, a DC weapon back then was, and especially to a free to play unit was kind of bonkers. So yeah, her, her refine wasn't super good, but again, DC weapon, I don't know what we expected. So I don't really use her too much, really. I really don't think she's that good, personally. If you guys have a build that you think is better, um, please let me know because ah, I never, oh, fuck, I never really found a way to uh, make her work, personally. Also, I just don't like Noe that much. I mean, I just, I just never did. I just don't know. Anyways, here's Reinhard, the Reinhard. Um, you can see I went for a speed build. Um, I think Promise um, was like using one. And she was using it essentially just to deny opponents follow-up attacks, not necessarily to like quadruple hit, just to um, increase his survivability. And I thought that was pretty cool. So um, I haven't given him the dragon flower yet. I don't know if I will. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, you can see I fed him a uh, uh, ninja Corin for that speed res uh, far trace and joint drive attack. And I think also for like this. Attack speed push for oh no I fed a uh, I fed the summer byleth to him as well for the uh, ruptures guy as well so yeah he's pretty built up um use him a lot back then still use him a decent amount now especially for the uh, the uh, training tower quest where you need to have like all cabs on your team I use him a lot in that one not gonna lie and I like his resplendent too um I, although I don't think it's as good as his original art but I still like it a lot. Here's Lex. Wow, you know, I just realized Lex and Reinhardt look very similar. Like, they could be, like, family. Are they related? I'm pretty sure they're not. Anyway, it's here to Lex. Um, I just really liked him a lot in uh, Genealogy and Holy War, so I just thought, hey, let's plus 10 him, because why not? And he's not even a bad unit, either. Uh, God's bow, er, got his axe, essentially a brave weapon, and, um, inflicts some speed and res. Um... Mine or penalties on us, so that kind of sucks. But you know, brave weapon—that's pretty good, especially a uh, preferred one, giving him uh, 11 might. Really not that bad. Um, I think I fed him a uh, a Zeke for attack, defense, catch four, and low attack, defense three. I think it would be better if I gave him a, a trace skill here, but the low skill is not bad either. And yeah, pretty cool. Like him a lot. Here is my plus 10 Thor um, from the latest Choose Your Legend, or not Choose Your Legends, A Hero Rises event. So, uh, yeah, she's pretty good. Um, I use her um, in like a Gale Force team sometimes. This one is more like a general whatever team. Um, and I also use uh, Warbreaker a lot, um, just so I don't need to necessarily field uh, Brave Lucina. So yeah, she is really good. Um, she helps me score really well in Astra Season. So yeah, and also she's just a cool character in my opinion. Um, I, I like her design, I guess. I mean, I think they may have gone a little overboard with it. Um, but you know, I just gotta make that money somehow, right? I guess, I guess that makes sense. Here is, uh, Kit Young Minerva. Um, I think this is the first Grail unit I ever plus 10. Um, you can see I got her Forma, so yeah. Um, I have her with Dragoon Axe, um, Rupert Sky, Attack Speed, Push 4. Um, sometimes I use Dragoon Shield, but really doesn't, really not super good. Uh, Dive Bomb 3 is almost always good though. Um, although you might think it's counterintuitive to have it with Attack Speed, Push 4. It really is, so I probably should replace that with something else. Uh, speed, defense, range, good. Um, I think I also have... Yeah, I gave her Wyvern Flight 3. Um, just because it was a rare skill. Actually, why did it... Oh, wait, I think I originally gave her that when I was doing the Forma. I think I fed a uh, Pirate to Barn to her. So, I don't really use Wyvern Flight 3 too much. I don't think it's really that good. Maybe I'm just using it wrong or something, but I don't know. Uh, I could have sworn I had a fire sweep axe build here, but maybe not. But I do have a fire sweep axe on her, and it's not bad either. Um, 
I tried to use her uh, in the Gale Force team, and she does okay, but her stats are really kind of outdated now, so she just can't, she just can't proc, like, she can't get the uh, heavy blade going on, so, yeah, she, she kind of needs a refine or something, she's just, I mean, I guess it's fine, she was a free unit, so, I guess it was expected, but it still made me a little sad. Uh, speaking of another Forma Soul unit, here is Python. Um, I always like Python in uh, Echo Shadows of Valentia, so I got his Forma. Uh, here's a Ninja Yumi build because, I mean, Ninja Yumi is really good. So, yeah, got him all the uh, Premier skills: Ruptured Sky, Attack Speed, Catch Four, um, uh, Far Trace, and Attack Speed Menace Three. So, yeah. Pretty good stuff. Hoping that he gets a pretty good refine. And even if he doesn't, at least I still got Ninja Yumi on him. So I'm not going to complain. Um, here's Ninja Korin. Um, again, from A Hero Rises. Uh, for the most part, I didn't change her kit too much. I, I changed Ether. I changed it to Ether to help with scoring in Arena. Yeah, this is like the Arena build. I have a uh, general content build where it's Position and Moonbow just because those are easier to use for the most part. Um, but here's like the arena one, um, yeah, I don't know what to say, she's pretty good. She's, uh, Green Reinhardt with a, uh, dance that allows her to go again. Self-dance, of course. So, yeah, pretty good unit. Um, pretty easy to use. Um, yeah. Actually, I have multiple copies of her. This is just a plus 10 one. I do have non-merged ones that I use for other, uh, game modes just so I don't have to keep flipping the, uh, blessing. Maybe I'm just being really stingy on that, but... I just like saving it up, you know? Uh, speaking of Corrin, here's uh, Legendary Corrin. Um, yeah, she's showing her age a little bit. Um, maybe it's because I just didn't do anything with her build. I think I thought it was kind of okay as it was. And I really didn't know what else I could do with her necessarily. Because, I mean, what else am I going to replace with Shield Pulse? I do have a... Um, I do have no follow-up on her. But I don't really know... I don't know. I, I still want to get Negating Fang, like, ready by turn one, so I don't know if no follow-up's really great on her. Um, I also had Pulse Smoke 3 on her, but I, I think I really do like that Joint Drive Attack. I just really want to, like, kind of, um, like, one-shot the opponent after they hit her, so... Um, yeah, she's showing her age a little bit. She does not survive as well as she used to. She does not hit back as hard as she used to. Um, but at least her art's really cool. Um, she's drawn by Sensha, who has kind of taken over <laughs> female Corrin art-wise, so, um, I think it's pretty good. Still holding out for that, uh, legendary male Corrin. Wouldn't mind him being in a Hoshiden Royal, or, like, based off of that Cypher card of him, Erdham being, like, the ruler of Vala. Um, anyways, here's Norn. Um, here's a Spendthrift build. Uh, she was also kind of for Arena for a bit. Or was she? Do I have her? Yeah, she was mostly for Arena for a bit. But then she got phased out really fast. I think I was a little late to her, to the Norn party there. So this was not the best investment ever. But I do like Norn. Um, never used her in any of the games she was in. Especially not Shadow Dragon because I don't play beginner mode. And I don't play beginner mode and kill off my own units. So... Yeah, don't have much experience with her outside of Faye, but she was pretty good for a while. Um, maybe not so anymore, though. So, hoping for a good refine for her. Uh, here's Young Innis, um, one of the best grow units in modern history. Um, just because he has, like, a dead, dead eye effect in his weapon, so you don't even need to run dead eye. I mean, you could, I guess, but you're probably better off with something like Luna or Glimmer. I have Moonbow on him. Um, but, uh, you know, he's really, he's so good that you could just, you have a different number of builds on him. Um, although the builds I have on him right now are pretty samey. Um, yeah, you can see here's a Glimmer one, um, or a Luna one. Here's a Glimmer, um, Times Pulse is, I feel like, kind of required on him. It's, it's really good on him. Um, Null Follow-Up 3 is okay, um, but it's also... He's also great with a lull too. He's just a great unit, man. I'm surprised he was the free unit. Like, I feel like if he was in the banner, 
he would be the star of that. Uh, the uh, Sacred Stones Kid Banner. Uh, here is Fallen Takumi. A little bit disappointed with his refine, but I guess he was a free unit, so it makes sense. And also, they didn't want uh, people to cheese the fuck out with him, just because if you had like a whole team of Fallen Takumis, you could just destroy a team and reduce them to like one health. Um, I don't know how effective that would have been anyways, but I guess that was something the devs were a little afraid of. Um, so they didn't really give him too much stuff. They gave him more like a savage blow effect, along with some extra stats. And they also changed his like, like beginning of turn damage thing. I kind of wished it was like every two turns, like every even or odd turn. That would have been cool. Instead it was just turn two and three, which is really lame. Um, so yeah, not a big fan of him. I never, I don't use him too much. Um, maybe for like some PVE content sometimes, but eh. You know, you can't always win with your favorites getting good stuff. Uh, here is Legendary Claude. Um, there's that video where I plus 10 him. So that was a fantastic experience. Um, I gave him Dead Eye because, of course, uh, he hits hard and the Dead Eye is going to hit even harder. Attack Speed Catch War, Fallen Star, Joint Drive Speed. I think this is more like my arena build. I do have general content build where he got repo and speed defense res 3. I don't know which is better having the rain or the uh, the joint drive is better. I think it's they both had their pros and cons. Um, I don't know why I gave him noontime here. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah he's fantastic. I think he is the best, best earth legendary by a pretty large margin, so and I think that's going to be like that for a long time. I mean, Fallen Star is just so broken. Um, and then next are my two Ninja Lins. Um, so I got this Ninja Lin during the Hero Rises event. Um, plus 10 her. Um, yeah, she has a Wind Sweep build here with Ruptured Sky. Um, and then here's like an Arena build. This is the one that I use in Arena mostly. Wait, no, it's not. This is the one I use in like Ether Raids. Wow, this one's the one I use in Arena. So, what happened was, like, I, I was trying to plus 10 Corrin, Legendary Corrin in that, um, A Hero Rises banner, and I kept getting Duo Lins. And by the time it was all over, I had 1 plus 10 Duo Lin and 1 plus 7 Duo Lin. So when her, like, uh, double special hero banner came out, I just finished her off. So, yeah, I got two Duo Lins. Um... And yeah, she's pretty good. She makes Arena really easy. So, yeah. I probably could replace Ether with um, Rupture Sky, but I'm just. I don't wanna have to fodder off a of Byleth. Cause, you know, they're getting a refine soonish, so I don't wanna. I don't wanna accidentally, like, give something away. Um, don't wanna do that. Uh, here's my plus 10 one star wrist. I think I just did this as a joke. Um, oh no, I think I did it because. They were announcing you can't merge higher star things into lower star things. And I was kind of afraid, like, the plus 10 one star wrist dream will never happen again. You gotta do it now. So I did it. I never really did anything with it because it's not good. I mean, he wouldn't have even been good as a five star plus 10. Um, but the fact that I didn't have to spend any feathers for him um, was a plus, so that's why I did it. Um, it was mainly just for the memes. Um, Alright, so. We finished plus 10 kingdom, so let's just go down. Here's a Nino, uh, plus 9. Um, I never finished her off. I think it's because later on she just wasn't good anymore, so I just never, never really bothered to. Here is my plus 9 Yuri. Yeah, he is so close to being finished. I'm so happy. Um, just one more, and um, yeah. So here is an Ether Raids offense build with Disarm Trap. Um, here is an area of effect build. Um, he's gonna need some support because Times Pulse takes this down to um, like two cooldown. Two cooldown, right? Um, yeah, so he's gonna need some support. Uh, usually in like summer duels, I, I have the uh, quick impulse here and I um, field duo Chrom with him so it gets ready after he uses to change fate. Um, so that's that, but he does need some support with ramping that down. And uh, here's a Lethality build, because he actually runs Lethality pretty alright, so 
I mean, not as good as Volk, in my opinion, but still pretty good. Uh, here's a Fallen Ike. I just... It's just one day, I think I just got a bunch of Fallen Ikes. I think it was during a, uh, a Legendary or Mythic banner. I think it was the one that Sigurd was on. I kind of don't remember, but I just kept getting him. I just merged him up because he was really good at the time. And I also got his Forma, so I was able to get Tech Speed Unity. Uh, it beats his, um, his other skill. What was it? It was... Yeah, Darting Breath. <laughs> and now that's a... Uh, that's a seal, so there's no point in using that at all. Um, there's Repel 3. I couldn't get Spurn 3 on him. So, there's Repel. It's still okay, too. You know, just damage reduction. Um, and Joint Drive Attack's pretty good. So, he used to be pretty good. He could still be scary, you know, with Chaos Ragnar. Basically, the Unity effect on all stats makes him really scary. And I just doubled down on it with Tech Speed Unity. So, yeah. Pretty good unit. Um, hoping to finish him off one day. Uh, here's Fallen Edel Guard. Again, this was another circum another circumstance where I just kind of got a bunch of hurt um, during a Legendary Banner. I think I was trying to summon for Legendary Makaya, and I just kept getting her, and I wasn't complaining. Um, actually, kind of a blessing in disguise. Almost finished with her. Still use her a lot. I know some people think she's kind of not good anymore, but I mean, come on. She's you tell me this Armored Wall is not good and Twin Crest Power is not good. It's not as good as it used to be. It's not as broken when she came out, but I mean, she's still really good. They, there are a lot of counters against her, for sure. Otherwise, this game would be unplayable. But she is still useful when used properly. So yeah, great for Gale Force. Great for um, yeah, Gale Force teams. This one is like just a huge like tank, where I try to make her like a raid boss sort of unit. Yeah, really like her a lot. Hoping to finish her off too one day. Here is Legendary Robin. Um, yeah, I think I just there was that point in the remix when they were remixing Legendaries where she was always on the banner, so I just kept getting her and merging her. I kind of wanted to finish her off, but now they stopped running her in this remix banner, so I'm a little bit angry. Um, so hopefully, hopefully when she appears next time, I'll be able to finish her. Um, she's got Dragon Wall just to uh, keep her alive and stuff. Um, yeah, not a super good unit. She can't ramp her noontime super efficiently to get the healing so yeah she's really just looking to um, neutralize uh, foes bonuses um, that helps out a lot but still she's not yeah she's not super good here's black knight I never really built him back then I think I started doing it once he got like almost like a resurgence again with near with saves um, special fighter was pretty good and a wandite refine it's not good, but it helps out with um, putting Black Luna down to 2, which makes him being able to return with a Black Luna in people's face. So that is really awesome. Um, basically getting one shots with him are, are really good. Uh, here's Hinoka. Um, I, again, she's just like a unit I just kept getting, just summoning. Um, I'm sure you've seen that in some of my videos, so she's at plus 7 now. Yeah, not sure what I'm ever going to do with her. Uh, Dogger, she was, when I first saw her, I'm like, dude, this girl is sick. Um, and I just kept getting her in one banner, I kind of forgot which one. This is another situation where in the Legendary or Mythic banner, you just keep getting one person that you didn't necessarily want. But in this case, I wanted her, so it was awesome. So I kind of have her default kit. I think it's fine the way it is. Um, and yeah, she helped me a lot in Light Season for scoring. Uh, here's Barst. Um, I just thought his Devil's Axe, or his Devil Axe refine was really cool, so I, um, gave him the Double Wrath build. Um, and then I think this makes him, like, Fury 7, and then after they had the Fury, the Fury 3 seal, it was, Fu it was Fury 10, so that was really cool. He's not really good, but, um, again, during PvE content, he could be fun to use. Uh, Brave Ike, uh, pretty good. Um, I mean, I don't think I need to tell anyone how good the Irvin refinement was. It is pretty bonkers. Um, it's got distant counter on mine, no follow up, uh, quick repose, smoke three, so it's not bad. Uh, I think just the fact that he can't double except for having quick repose might be his biggest weakness. That just means either his B or his S slot has to be 
quick repost, so that could be a bummer. But he's still a pretty good tank. You just gotta watch out for those dead eyes and lethalities. And young Innises. Uh, Bioleth. Um, you know, one of the best water legendaries. I'd say probably the best le water legendary in my opinion. Um, got decent number of merges on him during the Hero Rises banner. Kinda wish I got more of him. Said I got way too many, um, Hatari Azuras. I'm not complaining, I'm just, I'm just complaining. Uh, Yen Fei. Um, I didn't finish him off just yet. Um, I just think the extra stats he get from the merges isn't super worth it. I think he's pretty good as is. So I didn't find it really necessary to uh, merge him. Uh, here's Leg Yarn, who has pretty broken me a couple times. Um, I planned on getting her refined, but I just haven't yet. But um, yeah, also I really like her design. She's really cool. Uh, Sonaki, she's a person that's been broken me a couple times. Brave Hector. So here's a uh, hardy fighter build um, with Aegis. Pretty good. Um, but I also have the uh, special fighter build on him, which is really good as well. So yeah. I don't think Brave Hector is going to be outdated anytime soon. He's not as good as when he first released. Like there's, there's been some stuff that's coming out that can really um, threaten him a lot. But he's still like... He's still kind of like the benchmark every blue armor has to like compare to. Like, is he as good as Brave Hector? No? Then they're not good. Just keep using Brave Hector. So just because of that, he's still great. I got a plus six Subasa. I think she was also like a unit that kept pity breaking me, but I think she's pretty good. Um, she got dual effectiveness, and I think she's got like a desperation kind of effect. And it's a pretty easy one to uh, get um, done, so, yeah. And her stats are pretty good, so I like her a lot. Um, hoping she'll get a good refine one day. Uh, Leanne's another <laughs> Pity Breaker unit. I never really used her too much. Um, just because I've never been into Beast teams. But, um, yeah, hopefully she... I mean, she's probably never gonna get a refine because she's a dancer. But here's me hoping that dancers are gonna get refines one day. I mean, they gave one to Legendary Azura. I would have thought that would be the gateway to the dancers getting refines, but... Nope, not yet. Uh, here's Kranya. Um, I wanted to invest in her, then I thought she's not that good anymore, so I stopped. Uh, here's Camilla, another unit that kind of pretty broken me a decent amount of times. But it's, you know, it's fine. She's a pretty okay unit. I don't think her refine was that good. They really could have done a lot more with it. I think they were just scared with staff refines, which I don't understand, because I think staff units are not that strong anymore, so they really could have given her a lot more. But she's not bad. And the Queen of Nor, like, costume she has is really awesome. Um, here's Chris, male Chris. Um, just gave him, uh, DC, and, he, yeah, he's pretty good. Um, not as good as it used to be, but, you know. Uh, here's Ira. Um, I think I fed him, her, a Charlotte. So, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, Regnal Astra's still pretty scary. Ira's Blade is a pretty good, uh, refine, so... Yeah, it gives her some damage reduction, and along with Frenzy 3, yeah, it's pretty good. I I had a, only like one Ira for the longest time, and then out of the blue I decided to just summon uh, for her in one of her revival banners, so she's at a plus 5 now, so that's pretty good. Shannon, um, Ira's nephew? Nephew, right? Yeah, so he's pretty good too. Um, was able to get his Forma, gave him DC, Spurn 3, and uh... Whole smoke three. I think I would have rather gotten a joint drive skill, but yeah, he's alright. Um, yeah, Baomong is not as good as it used to be. I mean, plus five to all stats is not good anymore. Um, he got Imperial Astra, which I'm pretty sure is just Regnal Astra with a different name. And it doesn't say, like, can't be uh, inherited. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that it can't be. But we had thought that with Ast Final Astra, so uh, I guess they really had to say that back then. Uh, here's Owain, another character I got pity broken a decent amount of times. I didn't get as refined yet. I didn't. I just don't think it's super good, but I always liked Owain as a character, so I think I might one day. Um, Alinsi has another uh, pity breaker unit that keeps getting me. I think she's all right. Um, a really simple, like brave weapon unit. Um, yeah, pretty good. And I love her uh, resplendent outfit. Like, her original art, I thought was, I mean, again, 
I preface this by saying all artists are a million times better than me, but I thought the original art was awful. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so we got Tiki, Chris, um, I, I, I immersed up a Lucas a little bit, but not too much. Uh, Julia, Sias, uh, oh man, I remember when Male Rob Fallen Robin came out, I was so hyped for him, like, dude, you could play as Grima. So I thought he was really cool for a while, but over time he just got, like, power crept, and now he's really not good, and the game a really bad find, so... I think he's kind of doomed for now. I guess I could just use Halloween Grima, it's a lot better, but still kind of sad. Okay, let's just move on, I'm not gonna go through everyone. Uh, Loki is really good, um, I never got the re refined Veronica. Here's Ike, here's Regan, one of the best uh, Astro units in my opinion. Uh, here's Saros. I didn't merge her up from the Hero Rises uh, banner. Um, I think I kept a couple for um, Dragon Wall 3 and uh, Mirror Impact. But I kind of ran out of her, so yeah. Here's a Morgan. Um, not super good. She's mostly a supporting unit. Um, I gave her Fury 3. I think if I could, I'd give her like a joint drive attack one day. Yeah, mostly support. Uh, here's Brave Ephraim. Really like him a lot. Um, I didn't give him a save skill yet. Um, I don't know. I don't. He's. I think he's all right as a unit for general content, but I don't think he's super good um, competitively. Um, here's some of my two favorite uh, Drip Draw characters, Luin and Jamka. Um, yeah, I thought I thought both their refined were really good, so I built them up a little bit. Um, Jamka. I did not have enough. Uh, grails for him, so he's at plus four for now, but I think he works well at plus four. Brave Marth, here's a uh, bonus doubler build um, with a special spiral. It actually works pretty all right, um, but I think, I don't know, I was a little disappointed when he came out. I didn't think he was as, oh, oops, that good, but I thought he was probably still better than Gatekeeper, so, I mean, Brave Erica really took, took over everything, so. Um, here's Brave Alm. Um, he was the one I actually chose for Choose Your Legend 3 back in the day. I didn't have anything good for his A or C slot, so I didn't replace it yet, but he still works alright the way he is. Uh, oh, here's a my uh, female Byleth. I just kept getting her. She's at plus 3. I actually got one this morning, so she's potentially plus 4. I'm just going to wait on her refine. Hopefully it's good, but we'll see. Uh, Legendary Sigurd. What else do I have to say about him? He's really good. Same thing with Krom, really good. Legendary Lilena I have at plus three. Um, here's Legendary Lucina, I don't know why she has nothing on. Um, yeah, Future Vision 2 is pretty cool. Not like super insane or anything, but it's really fun to play around with. Here's Uller, pretty nice. Uh, here's Dancer Eldigan, I got his um, uh, Forma, but um, I don't really use him that much with it, the It's Curtains build. I, I think I should probably look into it a little more, but I just didn't really have the time it or effort to do it. Uh, here's Micaiah in her Hell attire. Really awesome. Um, Azura. I think a lot of people sleep on her. i thinking she's not as good as she used to be, but she's still pretty good, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I think her uh, refine was okay. It was just very, very much okay. It was really Grey Waves too, that really was helpful. No Panic is really useful. Um, here's my two Adel Guards. Um, the player phase one and the enemy phase one. Both are really good in their own ways. Um, both have fallen off a little bit, but hopefully they will be able to get revitalized sooner or later, especially a uh, uh, legendary Adel Guard. She's really fallen off a bit. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Who do I focus on now? Um, this video's gone on for a long time now. Uh, here's Legendary Leaf. Uh, really simple unit to use. He he has a brave weapon. Nothing else, much else to it. Oh, also, Neuron Zeal is just fucking insane. Like, Gale Force. Kind of Gale Force on a, on a ranged cavalry unit. Pretty insane. Um, here's the Fallen Marita. I really liked her um, refine, so I gave it to her. Uh, here's my Erica at plus two. I gave her the Ascended a trade just because, um, I mean, it's, she's a really good investment. I think she's going to be good for a long time. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna go down a little bit. Here is a uh, Dogger, New Year's Dogger. She's at plus two. Um, really like her a lot. Great for summoner duels. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. Oh yeah, here's Young Ike. I use him a lot in Ether Raid. I know a lot of people don't like him, but just the fact that he's got Null C Disrupt um, and so much effects based on the number of allies around him, which is not that hard to accomplish anyways. It's just great. I love him a lot. Use him a lot. Um, he does have to worry about Brave or er, Dead Eye and without he uh, users a lot, but apart from that, he's pretty good. Um, here's Pala, Valentina Pala. She's pretty good as well. I use her a lot in summoner duels, although I think she's falling off a little bit. Here are my Dimitris, Brave Dimitri, at plus one. I think I have two extra as combat manuals. I just haven't merged them up yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, he really needs something because that res is really hurting him. Um, Fallen Dimitri is really awesome. Love to use him as a Gale Force unit. Um, he's a little hard to use sometimes. Um, I know some people use like the ninja spear thing, ninja naginata on him, and it works better than his vengeful lance. Haven't looked into it yet, but I heard it's pretty good. Um, here's some ascended units. Here's a dune. Here's Fjorm. Um, oh, here is Byleth, um, legendary female Byleth. Not as good as her male counterpart, but still pretty good. Send it Joshua. It's my uh, uh, bridal Fjorm. And I think that ends the characters that are merged. These are now one offs now. Um, here's Edelgard, uh, Beach, Summer Edelgard. Uh, yeah, um, I guess I'll just keep going down a little bit. I don't know. I don't have much else to say to some of these people. Here's Bri Lilina. She's really cool. Basically a blue legendary Lilina. So automatically pretty good. Uh, but Valentine Lucina is really fun. Oh, I have two unmerged uh, Summer Cetas. Just because I think having two is better than just merging up one. Um, unless you guys think otherwise, I'm just going to keep them separate like this. Uh, Bridal Catria. I got her when she first released. And, um... Yeah, start dunking pretty hard. She's a really good unit. Oh, Pirate Hinoka I really like a lot. I'm hoping to get cool new pirate units this year. Oh yeah, here, here are my two unmerged uh, Ninja Corns. Um, this one is for offense. Yeah, the two different offenses, offense seasons. Um, here are my all my Hatari Azuras. Um, because you know it's. It's nice to have her, uh, just in case I need more dancers. And, um, she also makes for some great fodder, so I like to keep her around. Um, Winter Bernadetta is always wonderful to have. Oh yeah, I have the spare Fallen Takumi, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with. Uh, love, love, uh, uh, what's it? Ha uh, Harmonize a Leaf. Um, he's really good, and his, uh, like, miracle effect is really annoying to deal with um yeah that about covers it oh yeah here are my three flames because there's really no point in merging her, her up just stack up the damage reduction and um, watch people do single digit damage that about covers it so wow this video lasted a lot longer than I expected so yeah I think here let's see how many units I have left Okay, so I'm missing about 80 units, so, um, but I think for the most part, I got most of them. I think I might have the complete Thracia. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have the complete Thracia catalog, but it's a pretty small catalog anyway, so it wasn't exactly hard to do. I'm sure a lot of people have the complete Thracia catalog. Um, but yeah, here's, I'm just gonna go through the people I'm missing a little bit. Um, it didn't quite... A number of awakening characters. Um, some fates characters as well. Um, some three houses. But I do have all the TMS units, so that's pretty cool. I just mark those all as viewed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through some of the units I got. Um, I think this video went a little too long, but um, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.